everybody, my name is Sarah Devlin and welcome to this episode of the Pride Month Marathon. Um, today is an art video, but it's more of just me doodling and doing little like busts of different queer characters I really enjoy as a background for us to talk about said characters. So the very first one I'm drawing is Captain Raymond Holt from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's a TV show that was on Fox and I believe has just been recently picked up by CBS, I think it was. Um, yeah, he is a frumpy, um, black gay man who's in his, I'd say, 60s. Um, he's very, very stoic, and I think that's why I like him. His character is just, in my mind, so unique. It was the first time I'd ever seen a very well-established, like, high-up in the, like, hierarchy of a, of a society or an organization person who is gay and is very open about it and he has rainbow flags in his office and you know it's brought up almost every episode but it's never the butt of a joke you know um and I just liked the fact that the audience is made aware right away that you know his career and his like ascension to being captain of a precinct I think that's what it's called captain in charge of a precinct at any rate has not been easy both because of his race and because of his sexuality. I feel like that's something that shouldn't just be glossed over, like it's not important to his character development. And yeah, I just really like him. I really like his humor because while it's not the same sort of humor I always necessarily have, my humor I feel like a lot of people don't get that it's not, like I said, it's not the same as his, but it's, it's different. So I can appreciate his sense of differentness and his humor. Um, and I am going to say real quick, what I'm working with is a Canson watercolor book, just a mechanical pencil and some Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. And some of them work really well, like the blue and the black, and some of them, like the brown, really don't work very well. You can see I go back over his skin a bunch of times to try and get it as smooth as some of the other colors. It just doesn't really work. Um, who I'm drawing here, if you can't tell, is Rosa Diaz, another character from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. With this past season, she came out as bisexual on the show, and she actually said the word bisexual. I feel like that's something that I will talk about later, but it comes up a lot where um, a character, it's particularly women, are interested in women and men. Um, and it's never, um, never really said directly that they're bisexual. They just don't like labels or whatever. So I really appreciate the fact that she said that she just came out and, you know, when she came out, she just said, I'm, I'm bi. I also really appreciated that everybody else on the show really accepted her and I just feel really connected to her, I guess. Um, I mean, probably because I'm bi. Um, also, I really like the aesthetic she um, has, very punk, wears leather jackets, which you'll see. Um, I, I could never be as, like, tough as she is though. I'm way too bubbly and friendly. Um, not to say she's not a nice person. She's just very like thorny. Um, I really like the way the sketch turned out. I think she's my favorite actually. Um, it's a very interesting style, very stylized. Um, I'd like to try and recreate it and do it on purpose. <laughs> I mean, I did it on purpose, but I wasn't planning it when I did it, but I would definitely like to try and do that again. Um, also one thing I really like about Rosa is that her, the actress that plays her, I almost said her character, the actress that plays Rosa, Stephanie Beatrice, is also bi, and that was part of the reason she pushed so hard for Rosa to be queer, be bi like her, be on screen, having relationships with women, and all that, you know? So I think that's really important. And then this character here is White Canary um, from the DC Comics, she, but this like that universe but in this case it's um the tv show um arrow was when she was first introduced and that was a case of where the woman was shown to be interested in men and women um and then they were just kind of like we're not going to call her by because if i remember correctly in an article they said it would be they didn't want to make her seem salacious so you know it's always a sarah of course so I always kind of, you know, I really liked her character because it was one of the first times I saw a bisexual character, period, on TV. Um, and I liked her character just because she's kind of, 
very confident with her sexuality, especially when she moved over to the show Legends of Tomorrow, which is um, where she becomes the White Canary. Also, you can see there I messed up. I spelled Sarah the way I would spell my own name. So that, that's the reason I like that character, and I always kind of take the time to make sure I point out that she is, in fact, bisexual, um, and she is very interested in women, even though the um, writers of Arrow didn't really put that much emphasis on it. Um, there's a lot of emphasis put on it in Legends of Tomorrow. So yeah, that's part of the reason I like her. And then I decided to draw a character that wasn't human. So you guys probably all know who this is. You might have seen my phone screen. Um, this is Garnet from the Steven Universe universe. It's a cartoon. Um, it is for kids, but I really do enjoy it. Um, I thought about drawing Pearl just because I feel like out of all the characters, I am the most like Pearl. She is the most like me. But at the same time, I really liked the fact that Garnet is two female gems in a fusion together. So she's kind of, you know, the embodiment of a healthy same-sex relationship, particularly a relationship between two women. Um, I was having a hard time getting her skin color because the colors just did not want to blend and smooth out, but I think it turned out all right. Um, I really like how she turned out. It's not 100% accurate. Some of the colors are a little bit off, but I feel like I did really well. I, I like to draw her also because she doesn't have any eyes. I mean, she does, but they're hidden behind her glasses, so I feel like that makes it easier. I struggle with eyes. And then I decided to draw some pride flags for the different orientations here because there are two bisexual women and two gay people, if you're going to use those terms, but I'm pretty sure Garnet really doesn't use that term, and I don't think Sarah Lance has ever, she ever sp explicitly says she's bisexual, but yeah, so I decided to draw those, and when I drew the pride flag, I had to draw out the new flag that was designed by, I believe, someone in Philadelphia last year, I think it was, because it um, supports and represents the uh, queer communities of color, specifically the um, black community because of a lot of the racism that is unfortunately inherent in the LBGT plus community and I felt like since Captain Raymond Holt was on here and he's gay it was important to include that. So yeah this is what I drew and I'm really kind of sad that I forgot Nissa from Black Lightning because she is a queer woman. Um, it's never really stated whether she's gay or um, bisexual. Um, she is explicitly seen dating women in the show, so I would say she's probably gay, but who knows. Anyways, I really wish I'd drawn her and I might do that again some other time, and I also really want to draw Stevani also from Steven Universe, so there might be another one of these in the works. So yeah, who are your favorite canon queer characters?